Yeah, say action. One, two, three, action. Hi, my name is Barrett, and I'm going to interview the man known as El Cappy. He has been the head coach of the East Austin Soccer Club for many years. Hi, and good evening. Uh, <laughs> why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Ismael Guzman, Jr. No, not Jr. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, where do you get the nickname, El Capi? Uh, a long time ago, when I, I, I was uh, playing uh, soccer, uh, I think I, I played uh, defense, but my blessing was they compared me to Rafa Marquez, was a uh, Captain from the Mexico team, and that uh, and was Cappy. Now that's where Cappy comes from. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been directing this soccer club? Uh, I think it's uh, by 20, 20 years. Wow, that's a long time. Uh, what made you start coaching? Uh, I was a uh, <clears throat> the fan for uh, soccer. I love the soccer. Now it's my life. The soccer. I got the. Uh, uh, I love my kids. I try to practice. <laughs> um. Yes, uh, <laughs> uh, Well, just keep rolling. Yeah. Um. Uh, so I see that the majority of these kids are Hispanic. Is there any particular reason for that? No, uh, East Austin is for all. Uh, everybody can come to uh, join us for the East Austin. So it's open for everybody. Uh, you said you want the kids to succeed. How does the club help with that? Uh, I'm trying to get the uh, uh, kids as uh, soon as possible, four years old, uh, five years old, and we try to uh, start the um, skills and uh, good skills and prepare for a uh, for a school for a. Uh, good, good uh, persons and everybody. Setting them up for success. Uh, tell me more about the club. What about is what about it is special to you uh, and what do you think helps the club? Uh, is this... <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, are there are there any other benefits to being in this club for the kids? Oh, oh yes, uh, they can get a, a scholarship for the local uh, universities and uh, something else. It's very good for uh, for them. Uh, I understand that you had some help along the way. Uh, tell us about that. Yeah, my daughter Yoshi is. Uh, she helped me a lot. So she makes the, all the paperwork for the <laughs> the club. Yeah, it's a lot of good work. And we have Yoshi here. Hi, how are you? Hi. Yes, my name is Josefina, but they call me Yoshi. Uh, how is your experience in the club helping your father? It's been great. I learned a lot, especially the love for soccer. Ah, so you love soccer too? Yes, I played for many years. Are you still playing soccer? Not as much as I like to after getting married and having my daughter, so I'm on the sideline more, but I still help whenever I can. <laughs> Kids can be quite time consuming. Uh, well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Um, thank you for coming out, and I wish you the best. Oh, thank you. The pleasure was mine. Thank you. <laughs> thank, okay. you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, from the very beginning or okay uh, hello my name is Barrett and I'm going to interview the man known as El Cappy he has been the head coach of the East Austin Soccer Club for many years it's on Yeah, tengo experiencia. Ready? 
Okay. Hello, my name is Barrett, and I'm going to interview the man. Well, well, I'm going to interview the man known as El Capi. He has been the head coach of the East Austin Soccer Club for many years. Hi, and good evening. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Yes, uh, my name is Ismael Guzman, Sr. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, where did the nickname El Capi come from? A uh, long time ago when I was uh, playing soccer, uh, I think that I played uh, defense and my blessing compare me to Rafa Marquez, he's the famous uh, soccer player in good team and uh, soccer team in Mexico. Gotcha. Uh, so how long have you been directing this soccer club? I had um, 12, 15 years about it. Uh, what made you start coaching in the first place? Uh, <clears throat> I have in the uh, Uh, soccer fans for all my life and uh, I love uh, soccer uh, now it's my life <laughs> and uh, and it's the more important is my kids I'm trying to uh, practice uh, so I see that the majority of these kids are Hispanic is that for any particular reason no uh, it's Austin is for uh, everybody yeah they everybody can come to join with the East Austin with us. It's open for all. Uh, you, you said you want the kids to succeed. Uh, how do you help with that? Uh, I'm trying to get uh, the kids as uh, soon as uh, possible for four years old, five years old, and we <coughs> we try to um, um, get the skills and for uh, be uh, much better in the school, the life. And, uh, for a uh, sex of them. Trying to improve their lives. Um, <laughs> tell me more about the club. Uh, what about it is special to you, and how do you think it helps? It's a special for me because it's uh, the way to. Not the squid channel. It's a. Uh, it's, it's very important for me because ex, um, I can express a everything I think for uh, the soccer. And I love the soccer and the more important for me is my kids. Uh, and I want to, I want to see the, them and make it. So what are some of the other benefits that the kids get out of this club? Oh, it's, it's a lot. Uh, especially, this, uh, they can get uh, scholarships for the uh, local and universities and schools or whatever. It's very, very important for them. I understand that you've had some help along the way. Uh, uh, can you tell me about that? <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll yeah. say that again. Uh, I, I understand that you had some help along the way. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Oh, yes. Uh, my daughter, uh, Josefina, she helped me in a lot because it's, she made all the uh, paperwork for this, the club. <laughs> and we have Yoshi here. Hi, how are you? Hi, my name is Josefina, but they call me Yoshi. Uh, how was your experience working in the club with your father? It's been great. I've learned a lot, especially the love for soccer. Uh, you love soccer too? Yes, I played for many years. Do you still play? Not as much as I want to. I got married and have two daughters, so now it's I'm more on the sidelines, but I still help when I can. Uh, that's great. Um, well, it was a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> Thank you for coming out with us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ¿Cómo está, tío? Do you have kids in there? Yeah. Uh, how, okay. How, how old are they? Eight and six. Eight and six. Oh, yeah. Get that out of the way. Yeah, good. 
Hi, my name is Barrett Hughes. I'm here with Javier. Uh, he has some kids in the East Austin Soccer Club, and we're going to get a parent's perspective on what it's like. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, so, how many kids do you have in the club? I have two. Two girls. Two little girls, and what are their names? Uh, the eight-year-old is Yasmin, and the six-year-old is Vianney. So tell me a little bit about life as a parent with two little girls in the Austin Soccer Club. What's a normal day in the life? It's busy. <laughs> it's busy. You have to juggle work, you have to juggle personal, and you have to juggle the different time zones for the two different age groups and two different teams. Uh, so how often do they practice a week? Uh, twice a week. That can get pretty busy, I imagine. Um, do they have games that they attend? Uh, what's a season like for them? When does the season start or end? Um, yes, they do play every Saturday. Sometimes they'll do a doubleheader. They'll play Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so wh where about in the year does the season start? Uh, you'll have the spring season and then you have the summer season. Uh, and how many weeks is each particular season? Uh, it varies in how many teams are in it. So the bracket, it can, it can be a pretty large bracket or small bracket. So it can go from eight weeks to nine weeks, ten weeks. It just depends. So what about your two little girls? Uh, what does their uh, weeks look like? Right now, I believe it's eight to ten. Eight to ten games. So right now they're doing double headers. So it does start in the week because they've been playing Saturday and Sunday. That's a lot. <laughs> That's quite a bit of a soccer. Um, so do they have any favorite positions on the team? In, in their age group, there isn't re really a position. But yes, uh, the oldest likes to play forward, so she likes to score. And the little one's just all over the place. She just wants to touch the ball. <laughs> just as long as the ball's there, she wants to kick it. Um, Anything particular about the club that you notice that the girls derive out of it or any, anything that you love in particular about the club other than just gets them out and energized? Um, the friendships, they, they, they get to meet different, different girls and they're, they're obviously they create uh, memories and a bond. Uh, that's, what, that's what I want them to, to just fall in love with the sport. I think that's what it's all about, just loving and sharing love. Uh, well, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I look forward to seeing them out there kicking some balls. <laughs>